Remember? Why you didn't visit Amity Island this year? Why aren't you in the water? Because he's back. Roy Scheider. This is a great white, Larry. A big one. And any shark expert in the world will tell you it's a killer. It's a man-eater. Robert Shaw. Back home, we got a taxidermy man. He's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what I brought him. Richard Dreyfus. I'm not gonna waste my time arguing with a man who's lining up to be a hot lunch. The original Jaws is back. My husband tells me you're in sharks. <laughs> you yell barracuda. Here I says, huh? What? You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. He's taking it. He's taking it. Don't look right. Swim, Charlie. Swim. Did you hear your father out of the water now? The fighting for three. Everybody please get out of the water. We're going to catch him and kill him. For ten. $10,000 for me by myself. For that, you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. There's something else out there. What is it? Mayday, Orca. Coast Guard. That's straight! That's just straight! Lord, put your bloody heart out! Terror is light. The original Jaws is back. Dearest mother, guess who I ran into today? My brother. Guess who was visiting him yesterday? You, you old bat. My patience is at an all-time low. This has nothing to do with the fact that I've been watching the same movie every day for the past five days. In fact, that has been a joy, a respite, a nice distraction away from the perils of the real world, where a man can't even get his own mother to write to him, or visit him, or express any interest in him whatsoever. I did mention I was watching Jaws, right? Not Jaws 2, or the 3D one, or the Revenge, the original the good one, the great one, the amazing one. Yes, it is actually getting better each time I see it. Maybe you'd think better of me each time you saw me. If you mother farming took a chance and actually came to visit or write back to me at least once. I know I was larger than your average baby, but it takes more than 79 hours of labor to be a mother. You've had 44 years, nay, 47 years of practice with brother. And yet when it comes to me, you're as invisible as the ghost of great Aunt Eunice. Speaking of Aunt Eunice, I saw her again last evening. She was just floating there. But I could tell she was happy to see me. At least someone is. Anyway, write back, don't write back. Who gives a shit at this point? Matter of fact, like your son Michael, jog is 5th, 2020.
Joggist, it is Joggist, where I will be watching Jaws each day. Podcast, got a podcast, but I'm not quite sure what I will say. The choice of this time I give you pause, cause it has nothing to do with Jaws. Joggist, it is Joggist, where every day I will watch Jaws and talk about Jaws. It helps if you like Jaws. All right, it's party time. I can't do it. That first night, chugged it, no problem. Since then, ooh, it's, um, yeah. I can't do it. I can't do it. But it's still here right next to me, cold and refreshing. Hey, neighbor. Have a Gansett. It's late here on Wednesday evening. It's it's 1045 by the time I'm talking to you right now. Um, today I watched Jaws, believe it or not. I've been trading text messages back and forth with a friend of mine who we are we are working on scheduling and um, he will be joining the show at some point. So that some of these conversations and, dare I say, disagreements um, can be brought to light on the show. And um, things that I haven't talked about yet, I can discuss. And I was thinking about a couple things today when watching it. And I'm honestly, I'm saying, wait, have I brought that up yet? I haven't brought that up yet. Wait, have I brought that up yet? I haven't brought that up yet. Oh, I should bring that up today. No, I should wait because I have what, 26 other days <laughs> to do. <laughs> and, and they can't all be, you know, you're going to, like, you might see more skits. That's why the, this is like six minutes before you even get to me. So it's it's called filler, ladies and gentlemen. It's called filler. Why do you think Saturday Night Live has musical guests playing twice? It's not so we can watch music. It's so they can fill time and give the uh, actors a moment to, to breathe. Um, I thought, you know, maybe today I should talk about a specific topic um, and only that topic. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Um, but I tried to focus on Hooper one day, on Brody one day, on Quint one day. And when I went last night to uh, get the photo that I use for the for the website and the um, the the episode itself like if you're looking at certain podcast apps if you look at the app playing you might see this picture it's hooper we first see him getting helped off the boat by a fisherman and um like he's you know the guy gives him a hand helps him up and i saw that guy never thought twice of him then watching this over and over i thought wait that guy is the same guy we see later uh on the boat you know, yelling at people. Um, but when I got the photo, Google Images, like the the save, it said, it said this is blew my mind. It said Matt Hooper and Ben Gardner. And I said to myself, wait, that's Ben Gardner? We actually meet Ben Gardner? We actually see Ben Gardner before his... His uh, untimely demise. Is that possible? And yes, it is. That is Ben Gardner. Now, I looked up, I'm on Jaws Wiki, and um, it's, you know, people write these things. This isn't official by anybody. But it says, Ben Benjamin Gardner was a local fisherman on Amity Island and became well-known figure following the infamous, quote-unquote, Amity Incident, is that what they call it, in 1974. Is that supposed to be 1974? I like to think that the movie came out in 75, and it's not a documentary about something that happened a year before. Um, Do they really say it's 1974? It says it a couple times on this Jaws wiki. I don't know. I thought it was... I had this whole cool thing where Alex Kittner was killed on July 29th, 1975, and... Quint was taken out of the Indianapolis uh, on July 29th, 
wasn't it? Or June 29th, June 29th, um, 1945. And I thought that was a nice correlation. But they're say, if this is saying this is 1974, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Again, I can't stick to one topic. Um, but I was like, oh, my God, this is the Ben Gardner who seems to really have a nice um, kind of like a positive effect on uh, everyone seems to know him. And Martin Brody seems like when the, when the fish gets caught, that tiger shock, he's like, did Ben Gardner catch this? He assumed just Ben Gardner caught it. And then later he's like, that's Ben Gardner's boat. I know him. Now, Martin's only been there for this is his first summer. And he already knows Ben Gardner enough that he can recognize his boat. And he assumes he's the best fisherman in Amity. So then that got me thinking. Uh, is Ben Gardner and Quint, like, do they know each other? First of all, if you think Quint's voice is awesome, which guess what it is? Right behind it is Mr. Ben Gardner. Right from the first time we hear his voice with Matt Hooper. Hello. Hello, Beck, young fella. How are you? Say, I hope you're not going out with those nuts, are you? I forget what holiday it was. It was like Easter, Thanksgiving, or Christmas. One of those big ones where a lot of family get together. And I goof around a lot with family. And I'm sitting there with my brother. And I remember where I just was saying like, hello there, young fella. And this was years ago. Not many years ago, but within the last five years. And I remember we... Like, we couldn't figure out why we knew it. We couldn't figure out wh- why we knew that quote. It was like, hello back. Hello, hello there, young fella. We, could, we didn't get it exactly right. But it's like we knew we knew that from something. And, of course, I didn't know. I know now it's from Jaws, and I didn't know until yesterday that that is the, the great, the great Ben Gardner. Um, and... You know, that also leads me to really one of my favorite, well, I mean, there's only so many Ben Gardner moments, but another moment that every time I hear it now, I love it, and I'm listening more going, wait, what the hell is he saying? When we get them silly bastards down in that rock pile, there'll be some fun. They'll wish their fathers had never met their mothers when they start taking their bottoms out and slamming into them rocks, boy. Get away from there, you goddamn fool, you! That is the sound of a man who knows these waters and knows that all these idiots are coming from all over the place. And um, they're going to, they don't know the rocks, they don't know the water. And he thinks those idiots are going to be slamming their boats trying to figure out how to get out of here. Um, that was his big moment. And that was the last time we saw. Ben Gardner alive. We do see his boat later, though. And uh, that's when Brody and Hooper um, find it in the dark at night, which is that very night um, after the slap, after the the, the, uh, Hooper shows up at the house, they go cut the fish open, see there's nothing in there, and then head out on Hooper's awesome boat. Um, I never really noticed again I say I never really noticed because it's been a long time since I watched the whole thing but I like when they show uh, uh, the boat Ben Gardner's boat and it kind of pans along and then all of a sudden you see this chunk taken out of it that obviously was bitten out and it's like like the music um, gets ominous like it's it's a little clue like da, da, da. hey look at this everyone um but here's the thing now what i don't understand is and i don't know um if this is a fault of the government or law enforcement but hooper goes down there and he sees Ben Gardner's head. Now, when I was a kid, I think I just thought it was a head that floated up. Like he ate the body, the shark ate the body, and there's the head. But the, the head's attached to the body, right? And you see this eye missing, and it's not like the shark ate the eye, right? 
So what killed Ben Gardner? Was it the shark? Or did the shark smash the boat? Did the shark eat him? Was it maybe half a body? Um, or did the shark smash the boat and he drowned in his own boat? And the boat sank and he drowned in it. And then later a fish came by and ate his eyeball out. Um, or, yeah, the shark just killed him. I mean, I'm sure it's the most obvious answer. But, you know, Hooper comes up and looks at, at Brody. He's like, whew. He didn't say, holy shit, there's a body down there. Oh, my God, you, that guy you know, Ben Gunner, his body is down there. Oh, my God, there's another death. Um, no. In fact, even when they're talking to uh, to Larry the next day, he, no, I thought they didn't even mention Ben, ben the mention Ben at all, but he does say, um, the, we, we, we took in Ben Gardner's boat. You should have seen him. He did say you should have seen him. So Larry didn't even go see the remains of Ben Gardner as some sort of proof. He didn't see the, sh- the tooth. So maybe, okay, okay, it's starting to come together now. So Ben Gardner's dead. Um, Larry just assumes that's the tiger shark that gunned Ben Gardner, too. There you go. Mayor Vaughn's like, yeah, another sh- Ben Gardner got caught trying to get this shark. Luckily, these guys got him. Um, but pff, I don't see a tooth. There's obviously no great white out there. Okay. It makes sense. It's starting to make sense. L- sometimes I'm saying to myself, wait, what is going on here? Um, and then I think, oh, no, this is what happened. Like, I can't just keep talking about Ben Gardner. That's really all I wanted to say about Ben Gardner. Now, if you look up the actor, the actor's name is Craig uh, Kingsbury uh, he passed away in 2002 and here's the thing he's not an actor he's been in one thing Jaws he's known on he's known for Jaws the E! True Hollywood story about Jaws and Jaws the 25th anniversary documentary um, that was put out in 2015 um, now if you type in Craig Kingsbury on YouTube there's actually a couple cool videos there's one that looks like it was like a, a an interview done with him for the 25th anniversary of Jaws, but it looks like it's done on a camcorder. And then another one, this is from the Martha's Vineyard Museum Oral History Channel, and it's about the bootleggers of Martha's Vineyard and Craig Kingsbury Talks Prohibition. Now, also, on the trivia of Craig Kingsbury in IMDb, it says that he taught actor Robert Shaw how to talk like a crusty deep sea fishing captain for the film Jaws. And over at the Jaws wiki, it says the same thing. It says Kinsbury taught Robert Shaw how to act like an old sea dog. Um, Now it says here, in some interviews, Robert Shaw had speculated that Islanders were inbred. I actually heard an interview um, of him in the Quint garb uh, with his Irish accent that you'll probably hear at some point this month. And it says, much to the comical love of the locals, who dared Kingsbury during his coaching of Shaw to say it. So maybe Kingsbury said, oh, a lot of people around here, a lot of people around, I can't do it, I can't do a Ben Gardner, or inbred, I don't know. Um, but more famous than Craig Kingsbury is his plastered, severed head. It's one of the most treasured Shaw's displays, and I don't know how many of them were made, but I was lucky enough to see one when I went to that Jaws Fest uh, in 2005. I think, right? If you're listening, my brother, um, we did see a Ben Gardner head, didn't we? I, I have photos of this stuff somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, this was before, like, the cloud. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But Ben Gardner and Ben Gardner's head live on. Uh, Craig Kingsbury and his plastered head live on in the in the world of Jaws forever. And I will be hearing him say his speech tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. So that's all I got for you today. Um, you know where to find me. Twitter and Instagram at Geek Mentality. I do a lot more on Twitter than I do on Instagram, but it's there if you'd like to follow me. Of course, the website is fansnotexperts.com. 
And the Facebook page is Fans Not Experts. Now, usually I say, here is my theme song. But today, I'm going to leave you with something a little different. Good night, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow for another day in Joggist. Let's be reasonable, huh? This is not the time or the place to perform some kind of a half-assed autopsy on a fish. And I am not going to stand here and see that thing cut open and see that little Kentner boy spill out all over the dock. Hey, is that the lady with the money? Chief Brody. Who's asking? What the fuck? What is wrong with you, lady? I just found out that a girl got killed here last week. Yeah. And you knew it. Yeah, I... You I knew there was a shark out there. <laughs> you knew it was dangerous. I told but the you man... people go swimming anyway. I tried to close the beach, but I told the man. You really should talk to him. You knew all those things. Yeah. But still, my boy is dead now. Yeah, I know. I understand. And there's nothing you can do about it. Look, can I go? My boy is dead. Yeah. yeah. I wanted you to know that. Yeah, I was there, lady. I know that. Hey, can I have my 3,000 bucks? What is her problem? I'm sorry, Martin. She's wrong. Yeah, no shit. She should have slapped you. This is my podcast. I made it. Geek Mentality is what I named it. And I think you should listen and subscribe. Because I'm kind of funny and awesome. I think that I'm worth your time and I'm kind of handsome. My mom says, please listen and please subscribe. At least listen to this episode. Fans not experts.